let's begin hello good good evening everybody welcome thank you so much for being here uh, we have another class here on zoom so thank you you all for being here it's nice to have you one more time and we will continue learning english here on zoom as you may know we have um, our class today the one that we were supposed to have yesterday, but today we got it because of this um, day off, because of the holiday we had yesterday. Section number two, it really works. We're gonna have modal verbs, can, could, may, for requests, and also suggestions. Um, that's the topic for today, and this is pre-intermediate English. Module number three, class number four. So thank you so much, all of you, for being here. And I hope all of you are okay at home and ready um, to learn. We're going to have section number two today. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, let's begin. Uh, the first thing we're gonna have today is we're gonna have this information as you may see on the screen. Uh, look at the picture over here. We have some, let's say, items that we use. Use the words in the list to complete these expressions and then um, we compare, right? Sometimes more uh, than one answer is correct so let's let's see first of all we have um yes how do you call uh this thing in english how do you call this thing in english anybody anybody knows how do you call this let's say item where we put a bunch of medicine or stuff that we need how do you call that Perfect. Exactly. First aid kit, right? It's a kit where we can keep a bunch of, let's say, medicine or stuff that goes, uh, I mean, related to some injuries and sometimes pain. Yes. Uh, as you may saw in the picture, please, Freddy, tell me, please, what is the vocabulary that you see in the picture? Please. Thank you. Uh, bug. Bottle, box, can. No, I mean, uh, here in the picture, here in the picture. Ah, the picture. Uh, yes. <clears throat> a shaving cream, face cream, deodorante. Deodorante. De deodorant. <laughs> Very good. Toothpaste. Uh huh. Uh, bandage. Pain, medicine, medicine, or medicine. And coach drops. Coach drop. Uh, teacher. The microphone, teacher. Thank you so much for the effort, guys. What is the name of this item here? What is this? Uh, Phoenix. Tissues. Uh, exactly. We have tissues here. Okay. Tissues. Right. Okay. Very good. Okay. So as as Freddie also was reading here, here we have some some vocabulary as well. Um. Back. Um. What else do we have here, Claudia? We have a bag. What is this one? Bottle. Yes. Box. Can. Jar, pack, stick, tube. Tube. Okay. Tube. Very good. Tube. So if you notice here in this picture, right, we have some materials and we use this, let's say, like, I don't know, uh, 
these items that we use to to get uh, inside this, for example, face cream, uh, paste, uh, cream. Okay, so what are we going to do? We are going to use this vocabulary according to the products, okay? Yes, so if you see, these are the products by Pain Medicine, and these are this thing that we call containers, right? The materials, like a, a bag is a container, yes. Um, and the idea here is that we're gonna use this one according to the, uh, let's say, material that we have here, right? We can have different containers. Okay, Christian, welcome. Good evening, it's nice to have you. Uh, we can have different containers and depending on the products, yep, right? So um, we're gonna have those really here. For example, pain of medicine. What is the container that we use here? Uh-huh. A bottle. Oh, exactly, right. You can have a bottle, very good. A bottle, yes. Thank you. What about bandages? A box. A box, exactly. Or sometimes we call them, what else? Exactly. Exactly. A pack, right? So we can say a box or a packs. Oh, I wrote double A here. Okay. What about the number three? Cough drops. Okay. Exactly, a right. Bag. A bag. Yes. So we can say a bag of cough drops. Very good. What about at the other end? What is that one? A tube. A, a tube. Stick. Or tube. I think I think the, the appropriate is a stick, right? Stick. A stick, right? So we can we usually have it like this one, right? Yes. A stick. Yeah, you see this one? We have a stick here. Of the other end. What about number five? A jar. Oh, that is correct. We have a jar, a jar of uh, face cream. So you see this one. This yeah. this uh container here is a jar, right? Of face cream. What about number six? A can. A can. Exactly right. We have a can here. If you see. Shaving cream, right? Yes, it's a piece of metal thing that we can have. And uh, number seven, what is this one? Box. box. Exactly, yeah. we can have a box and also we can have? Pack. Exactly, right, a pack, yes. Mm -hmm. Number eight? Tube. Yeah, tube. Exactly, we have a tube, right? Yes, tube. Very good. So these are the containers, as you may see, and this is like the materials that we put inside these ones. So we can, let's say, I don't know, buy them or we can like uh, get them somewhere. Yes. Um, well, we have a lot of them. And for most of these materials, we need to put them in container or like this ones. Okay. Uh, let's... Thank you so much. Let me see. Any question about this? No? It's okay, right? Coffee with hojitas. Okay, we're gonna have this conversation here. Please, Jose Mauricio, do me a favor, okay? Okay. Tell me, uh, where do you think like these people are? Mm, well, I guess that the the old man is asking about the medicine to the to the person. I guess he's not a doctor. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So how do you call this person? If she's not a doctor, how do you call her? Uh, what is a sales, a, for me a salesperson? I guess. Okay, that's true. Oh, also a pharmacist. Yes, thank you so much. Yeah, so sometimes we call it like that. Yes. Um, 
Oh, yes. I love this picture, right? That's the way that's the way I feel sometimes, yeah? <laughs> At the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, just uh, pretty much October. October is like a long month. It's like it lasts like five or six weeks. So at the end of October, I was really like this one. Um, oh, that's that's a beautiful picture. Okay, uh, we're gonna have this conversation as you may know with the title over here on the top. It says, "Can you suggest anything?" Yes. When do we ask this question, Carmen Ruano? That means Mirna del Carmen Ruano. Hello, Mirna. Good evening. Thank you, nice to have you. Listen, uh, can you suggest, I mean, when do we have this question? Can you suggest anything? When do you ask this question? When do you usually, let's say, ask this one? That's good. That's good. Exactly right. Very good. Thank you so much. Very good, Mirna. And Marcos, what about you, Marcos? When, when do you think we ask or you ask this question? Good evening. Um, um, so, uh, he, uh, um, yeah. he asked us. Uh, but yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, many, what, what, I'm, <laughs> what I'm what I'm asking you is like in which scenarios do you ask this question to somebody? Um, uh, this one. Can you suggest anything? Can you suggest I ask anything? How many uh, Tablets uh, in for hours in, in what's uh, application? Okay, in... thank you so much. Thank you. We will help you, Marcos. We can give you another example of how how you can answer this one about when do you use this kind of question, uh, Mauricio? Please, when do you think, or when do you use this kind of question? Yeah, Mauricio, I... Mauricio, Jose Mauricio. Ah, okay, okay. Well, mm, we make that kind of questions when we need to get information about something. And not only medicines, we can ask for a recommendation of a menu in a restaurant or what kind of brand of a car, for example, we can choose for example, a Nissan or a Toyota. Toyota, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> loves Toyota, right? <laughs> yeah, it is popular. It's popular, exactly. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay. Yes. So, um, people, this is the way we have this question, right? Sometimes when we want to get an opinion about something, we can say, oh, can you suggest anything? Yeah, can you suggest anything? Um different scenarios, different perspectives. We're going to have the audio of this conversation. What I want you to do is listen and read. Here we go. Page 81. Exercise 8. Conversation. Can you suggest anything? Part A. Listen and practice. Hi, may I help you? Yes, please. Could I have something for a backache? My muscles are really sore. Well, it's a good idea to use a heating pad. And why don't you try this cream? It works really well. Okay, I'll take one tube. Also, my wife has a bad cough. Can you suggest anything? She should try these cough drops. Thanks. May I have a large bag? And what do you suggest for insomnia? Well, you could get a box of chamomile tea. Is it for you? 
Yes, I can't sleep. A sore back and your wife's bad cough? I think I know why you can't sleep. Page 81. Exercise 8. Conversation. Can you suggest anything? Part A. Listen and practice. Hi, may I help you? Yes, please. Could I have something for a backache? My muscles are really sore. Well, it's a good idea to use a heating pad. And why don't you try this cream? It works really well. Okay, I'll take one tube. Also, my wife has a bad cough. Can you suggest anything? She should try these cough drops. Thanks. May I have a large bag? And what do you suggest for insomnia? Well, you could get a box of chamomile tea. Is it for you? Yes, I can't sleep. A sore back and your wife's bad cough? I think I know why you can't sleep. Oh, we have this one, which is chamomile. That's a very difficult word to pronounce. Chamomile, okay? Yes, chamomile. That is one here. Chamomile, yes. Any question about vocabulary or phrases that we have here? What is chamomile, teacher? Oh, it is a tea. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That one. <laughs> I heard that it doesn't work at the end. It's just like... <laughs> I don't know. It's just water at the end. <laughs> That's what people say about it. Okay, but if you want to drink it, I mean, keep doing it. Yes. Uh, at the end, they say, like, it doesn't help a lot, but who knows? Okay, so, something else? Uh, sore back. What is the chip? At the, at the end. And you are... Oh, it's like, um, it's like pain in, in the back. Pain in the back. Yes. If you see, we have... He has a backache. Yes, oh, a, okay. sore, a sore back is, is a synonym of backache. Yeah, it's like oh, okay. pain. It's similar. Exactly, exactly. Oh, okay. So you're having pain. Okay, thanks. Perfect. Um, chamomile. Don't forget pronunciation, chamomile. So it looks like if you read it the way it is, because sometimes we do that, we get really a huge like mistake on that one, okay? So save, save the conversation, please. Thank you. And if someone can do me a favor and send it on WhatsApp group, that will be really nice. I will really appreciate that. I will open the breaker for around a few minutes so you and your partners can get into those and practice. And don't forget that this is about practicing, okay? So speak out, okay? Listen to your classmates the way they pronounce these ones. And... um. Keep learning, okay? Here we go. Thank you so much for sending the picture. Okay. Yes, Edith. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Here we go. Give me a minute. Okay, here we go. Okay. Thank you, Cindy. It's nice to have you. Welcome. Thank you so much for letting me know. Okay, here we go. So in room number one, we're gonna have, which is the main room. In the main room, Cindy, Stephanie, Claudia, Yesenia, Janessi, Alexandra, Maria Vilma, Cortez, Rivas, and Tiffany, Guadalupe. You five stay here in the main room, okay? So, no se unan al, al room number one, okay? Solo stay here and practice. The rest of you, do me a favor, please. Be happy and let's practice. Okay, Evers. Oh, okay. Ahorita, Evers, just give me a minute. There you have the uh, the breakout rooms. Please join. Join the breakout rooms. Thank you, Elisa, Jose, very good. Also, Anna, very good, and Ronald. Yes. 
Okay, for the ones that stay here, do me a favor, let's practice the conversation here. Yes, take turns to do so. Yes, uh, let's begin with Janessi and Claudia first, and then the rest of your classmates. Okay, I'm the pharmacist. Hi, may I help you? Yes, yes, please. Could I have something for a bad bad? Ache my my muscles are really sore. Well, it's a good idea to use a heating pad. And why don't you try this cream? It works really well. Okay, I'll take that too. A two. Also, my wife has has a bad cough. Can you suggest anything? She should try these cough drops. Thanks. May I have a large bag? And what do you suggest for insulin? Well, you could get a box of chamomile tea. Is it for you? Yes, I can sleep. A sore back and your wife's bad cough? I think I know why you can't sleep. Uh, please change roles. Thank you. Okay. Hi, may I help you? Yes, please. Could I have something for a backache? My muscles are really sore. Well, it's a good idea to use a heating pad. And why don't you try this cream? It works really well. Okay, I'll take one too. Also, my wife has a bad cough. Can you suggest anything? You should try these cut drops. Thanks. May I have a large bag? And what do you suggest for insomnia? Well, you could get a box of chamomile tea. It, it is for you? Yes, I can't sleep. A sore bag and your wife bag? Bad cough. I think I know why you can't sleep. Thank you so much, the two of you. Okay. And now we're going to have you, Maria Vilma. Hello. Good evening. Nice to have you. Tiffany, can you help her? Yes, teacher. Thank you, Tiffany. Or Elisa. Hello. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much, please. Tiffany and Maria Vilma, okay? So, Maria Vilma, you are the pharmacist and you are a Mr. Peters, okay, Tiffany? And then you change roles. Hi, may I help you? Yes, please. Go, I have something for a backache, back chase. My muscles are really sore. Well, it's a good idea to use a heating pad. And why don't, don't you treat this cream? It works really well. Okay, I'll take one, two. Also, my wife has a bad coach. Coach, uh, can you suggest anything? She showed three the scope groups. Thanks. My, I have a large bag, bag. And what do you suggest for insomnia? Well, you. Cover, get a box of chamomile tea. It's for you. Yes, I can sleep. Uh, I saw back and your wife, but coach. I think I know where 
you can sleep. Now change roles, please. Thank you. Uh, hi, may, may I help you? Yes, please. Could I have some time for a bike? My muscles are really sore. Well, it's a good idea to use a eating pain. And why don't you try this cream? It works really well. Okay, a taste one two. Also, my wife has a bad coach. Can you suggest anything? She should. She should try these coach drops. Thanks. My I have a large bag. And what do you suggest for insomnia? Well, you could get a box of chamomile tea. Is it for you? Yes, I can sleep. A sore back and your wife's bad coach. I think I know why you can't, you can't sleep. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, very good, the two of you. Uh, you have mistakes on pronunciation, uh, which is, that's something that happens. But my recommendation, again, is to keep practicing. Okay, listen the audio and repeat. Listen the audio and repeat, okay? You can do it like that. Yes, so you can improve your pronunciation skills, right? This is, like, when it comes to pronunciation, well, the only way that, that we can get this one pretty much is by that, by listening and repeating, listening and repeating. Okay, so don't be afraid to do it. Yes. Um, okay. Don't be afraid to do it. So uh, again, keep practicing. Give me a minute, I'm sorry. Sorry. Yes, okay. I will play the audio so you can listen one more time pronunciation, okay? And you can recheck how this thing goes. So let's listen and read. Page 81, exercise eight, conversation. Can you suggest anything? Part A. Listen and practice. Hi, may I help you? Yes, please. Could I have something for a backache? My muscles are really sore. Well, it's a good idea to use a heating pad. And why don't you try this cream? It works really well. Okay, I'll take one tube. Also, my wife has a bad cough. Can you suggest anything? She should try these cough drops. Thanks. May I have a large bag? And what do you suggest for insomnia? Well, you could get a box of chamomile tea. Is it for you? Yes, I can't sleep. A sore back and your wife's bad cough? I think I know why you can't sleep. Thank you so much. Jacqueline, question for you. What is this conversation about? Yes, about uh, two people that um, Peter need, needs some medicine and the pharmacist is helping him with some medicine and I guess she is uh, like suggestion and uh, some medicine for him uh, about that he has and his wife as well. Okay, what, is, what are those common health problems that he and his wife um, 
have? Uh, he, I guess he has a backache mm -hmm. and his wife has cough and as well he he couldn't sleep yes very good thank you so much beautiful okay i'm sorry i apologize i need to take the attendance really quick so give me like two or three minutes to do so when you say free center i'm here solo recordarles i'm sorry for the spanish recordarles lo de las actividades en la plataforma, sí, a ponerse al día. Y si tienen algún inconveniente con alguno, pues eh, pueden, eh, pues no sé, solicitar apoyo ahí en el grupo, sí. Y con gusto, ya sea alguno de sus compañeros o en mi caso, pues a veces, eh, pues vamos a contestarle lo más pronto posible. Ok. Thank you so much. Ana Cristina Peña de Paz. Present teacher. Thank you so much. And good evening. Nice to have you. Blanca y Solina Guzmán Cruz. I'm here. Wonderful. Nice to have you. Briseida Janet Garcia de Crespin. I think Briseida is just listening. That's what I heard. Briseida. Oh, thank you, Briseida. It's nice to have you. Welcome. Cindy Stephanie Ramirez Rodriguez. Good evening. Welcome. Claudia Yesenia Flores de Galdames. I'm here. Thank you so much for being here. Christian David Galicia Ramirez. Also, thank you so much, Christian. Welcome. Present nice. teacher. It's not, I, I, I checked, your, I was checking like WhatsApp group yesterday and, and you were asking for the class. That's very good, right? Always trying to, learn. very good, Christian. Thank you so much. Um, Daniela Mercedes Olivares. Hello, Daniela. Are you here? Let me see. Because sometimes Daniela, she's just here listening. Okay. Daniela, no, she isn't. Oh, that's rare. Um, Evers, Ernesto Perdomo Álvarez. Present. Good evening, nice to have you, gentlemen. Edith Carolina Rivera de Segundo. Thank you, Edith, and welcome. Elisa Maria Garcia de Ruiz. Present teacher. Thank you so much, good evening. Freddy Alberto Pascarillo. Welcome, gentlemen. Present teacher. Nice to have you. Iliana Mariel Alvarado. Hello, Iliana. How are you? You good? Yes or no? Iliana, no, she isn't. Oh, that's rare. She's usually here. Mm. Janessi Alexandra Lopez Portillo. Jacqueline. Janessi, are you here? Present. Oh, oh thank Present you. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Uh, and Jacqueline, Vanessa? Present. Thank yeah. you so much. Welcome. Jorge Mauricio Gutierrez Alfaro. Hello, Jorge. Are you here? Jorge. Sorry. Sorry, I have problems with my microphone. Oh, thank you so much, Jorge. Nice to have you. Good evening. Thank you so much. Jose Alcides Leiva Ibarra. Hello, gentlemen. Are you here? I think he was just listening, right? I guess. Jose. Uh, no, he isn't. No, he isn't here. Okay. Um, Jose Mauricio Martinez Arabia. Present. Nice to have you. Welcome. Jocelyn Tatiana Moreno Mercado. Present, teacher. Good evening. Nice to have you. Juan Jose Garcia Mendez. Present teacher. Gentlemen, nice to have you. Kevin Eduardo Flores Sanchez. Present teacher. Good evening, nice to have you. Liliana del Tránsito Aguilar Juárez. Uh, Liliana, are you here? Okay, let me check really quick. Okay, no, she isn't. Okay. Uh, Luis Alberto Galicia Gertrudes. I think I saw you, Luis. Hello, Luis. No, I isn't. Okay, okay. What about Marcos Alberto Palacios Herrera? Good evening, Mr. Palacios. Nice to have you, Marcos. Welcome. Maria Vilma Cortez Rivas. 
present teacher. Thank you so much and good evening. Milena de Los Angeles, Aragón, play this. Mm, oh, Milena, she's just listening, right? Oh, yes, Milena. I think she was here just listening. Milena, well, she was, but not, not anymore. So probably she left. Mirna del Carmen Ruano Reyes. Thank you. Rona Rafael Cusamaya. <clears throat> Thank you, Rona. Good evening, teacher. Thank you so much. Welcome. I, I am here. Excuse me? That's you, Ronald. Yes. So, oh, Luis, you mention me? Oh, Luis, thank you so much, Hello? Luis. Luis Alberto Galicia, yes? Okay. Oh, yes. Perfect. Yes. Good evening. Present. Nice to have you. Sandra Noemi Pimentel Alvarez. Present teacher. Welcome and good evening. Tiffany Guadalupe Martinez Mendez. Present. Thank you so much, Tiffany. And Jenny Lisbeth Tolosa Cortez. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Okay. Sí, a mí no, mencionó, no, no me mencionó de nuevo. Oh, sí, eh, la disculpa del caso, eh, Carlos. Ya lo reporté, bueno, desde que el día que usted me comentó. Igual lo, lo volví a reportar el día de hoy eh, para pues que se le asigne, ¿verdad? Tanto la asistencia de este día, de los días pasados, ¿ok? Entonces, sí, ya se está Perfecto. trabajando en eso. Gracias por informarme. Thank you so much. And also, Evers... Creo que ya le agregaron al grupo, ¿ok? So, me avisa if that is yes. not yes, teacher, thanks. the case. Perfect. Ok. Let's get back here. Ok, we're going to have just a few participation. Edith, hello, Edith. Can you participate? Yes, Edith. Hello, teacher. Thank you hello. so much. Nice to have you. Edith, can you participate? Yes. Yes. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you so much. Your partner is going to be Juan Jose Garcia. Thank you, Juan Jose. Please. Okay. okay. Hi, may I help you? Yes. Please, call. I have something for a backache. My muscles are really sore. Well, it's a good idea to use a heading pad. And why don't you try this cream? It's going really well. Okay, I'll take one too. Also, my wife has a bad coat. Can you suggest anything? She should try these cup drops. Thanks. My I have a large bag. And what do you suggest for insomnia? Well, you call get a box of chamomile tea. It is for you? Yes, I can sleep. A short part and your voice but cold. I think I'm not what you can sleep. Thank you so much. I will switch into Spanish really quick. Hay una, hay una técnica bastante bonita en inglés que se llama shadowing, okay? Este shadowing sirve para las personas pues que les cuesta pues un poquito con la pronunciación, right? Entonces, ¿de qué se trata el shadowing? Well, pretty much, usted va escuchando lo que su compañero va diciendo y usted lo va diciendo, right? Sí, con su micrófono apagado en casa. So you can practice and practice and practice and practice and keep practicing, okay? Um, that's a good technique that you can do. Yes, uh, just let me have another one. Yeah, Luis Alberto, can you participate? Let me know. Yes. Oh, wonderful. Or... And, and Kevin Eduardo? Yes. Please, go ahead. Um, hi, may I help you? Yes, please. Could I have something for a package? My muscles are really sore. Well... It's a good idea to use a heading pad. And why don't you try this cream? It works really well. Okay, I'll take one too. Also, my wife has a bad about cough. Can you suggest anything? She she should try this cough drops. Thanks. May I have a large bag? 
And uh, what do you suggest for insomnia? Well, you could get a box of shamul shamul my tea. Is it for you? Yes, I can't sleep. A short bag and your wife's bad cup. I think I know why you can't sleep. Thank you so much. We have chamomile. Okay, chamomile. Very good. Carlos Castro, can you please check the chat here on Zoom? Okay, teacher. Okay. We're going to have our last participation. That's going to be uh, you. Let me see Claudia and Jose Mauricio, please. Thank you. Ready? Go ahead. Okay. Uh, am I the pharmacist? What? Uh, am I the pharmacist? If you want. Okay. Hi, may I help you? Yes, please. Could I have something for a backache? My muscles are really sore. Well, it's a good idea to use a heating pad. And why don't you try this cream? It works really well. Okay. I'll take one too. Also, my wife, my wife has a back cough. Can you suggest suggest anything? She should try these cough drops. Thanks. May I have a large pack? And what do you suggest for insomnia? Well, you could get a box of chamomile tea. Is it for you? Yes, I can sleep. A sore back. And your wife's bad cough, I think I know why you can't sleep. Thank you so much. Very good. Beautiful. Thank you. Very good. Um, Thank you. Okay. Um, so, uh, Carlos, can you please answer to uh, my message on, on the chat here on Zoom? Okay. Okay. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much. Okay, we're going to have the rest of the conversation, which is about this question here. What does the customer want? Let's listen and answer. Page 81, exercise 8, part B. Listen to the pharmacist talk to the next customer. What does the customer want? Excuse me. Yes, how can I help you? What do you suggest for a headache? Well, you should take some pain medication, and it's important to see a doctor if it doesn't go away. Oh, and where is the pain medication? Right over there, near the door. Thanks a lot. Okay, yes, question for you, Ana Cristina Peña de Paz. What does the customer want? The question... For headache. Oh, okay. And what is the medication? What is the medication? Um, medication. Um, uh, Don't worry. I will play the audio one more time. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. Yes. No problem. Page 81, exercise eight, part B. Listen to the pharmacist talk to the next customer. What does the customer want? Excuse me. Yes, how can I help you? What do you suggest for a headache? Well, you should take some pain medication and it's important to see a doctor if it doesn't go away. Oh, and where is the pain medication? Right over there, near the door. Thanks a lot. So, Anna, tell me, please. Um, understand pain medication. Very good. That is correct. Pain medication, that is the one. Beautiful, Anna. Great job. Okay. Okay. Let me close this one. Here we go. Page eight. We're going to watch this video. Oh, Jesus. I don't have the video. Jesus Christ. No. Oh, my gosh. No. Sorry. 
I don't have it. Okay. You just have the grammar part. We're going to use modal can, could, may for a request or a suggestion. Okay. So here we have this is a request. Yes, because it's a question. Can I have a backup cough drops? Could I have something for a cough? May I have a bottle of pain medicine? So these are requests. So we are requesting something. Yeah, basically that's the main. And here we have a suggestion, right? You could try this new cream. You should get hitting pad. Why don't you try these pills? Okay. So this is the way we do. Uh, these are requests. I'm sorry, requests. This one's here. And these ones here are suggestions. Yes. Uh, in requests, can, could, and may have the same meaning. So that means these ones, okay, have the same meaning. So it's like, podría, podría. Okay, yeah. Just if you want to translate it into Spanish, right? Okay, you could try this new cream. You should get a hidden pad. Yes. May is a little more formal than can and could. Okay, so if you use may, that means, for example, in English, we have this expression, may I go to the restroom? Yes, we use may because it's polite, right? But at the end, it's quite the same here in this context. Yeah. One more time, we make a request with this one. Can I have, can I have, can I have? So this verb have, right? Well, that means a request, right? You need something. You're expecting something from somebody. And in here, well, you use the verbs according to the things that you want to recommend. So here, again, we're using the verbs. Do you remember simple present tense? Yeah. With all of, well, those bunch of verbs are the ones that we use here. Yes. And we don't do nothing whatsoever here. As you may see, we just use can, may, and also could here. Okay, any question about this? Any questions? Oh, like a piece of cake, right? Let's carry on. We're gonna have some exercises. Okay, uh, volunteers, please be ready. And also, if you don't want to do it, I will say your name. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry for being like that, okay? We have numbered the lines of the conversation, and then we are going to write the conversation. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to line the conversation. Okay. So the number one is, hello, may I help you? What is the number two? The first one. Oh. Hi, yes, Hi. please. Hi, what yes. do you suggest for itch, itchy skin? Oh, itchy. Okay. So this is going to be number two, right? That's what you're yes. telling me. Oh, I'm going to use the other one because this one. Oh, my gosh. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Number two is here, right? Thank you. What is the number three? Yes. You should try this lotion. Oh, that is correct. Thank you so much. So this one goes here. Number three. What about the number four? What's the number four? Edith? Uh, Edith? Okay. And call I have a uh, water or payment thing. Beautiful. That is correct. You nailed it. Thank you. Wonderful. Very good. What about the number five? Number number five. Yes. Can you can you use suggest something for a, a stomach edge? Yes. Can you suggest something for a stomachache? Um, and because this one is and can I have a bottle here, of pain? Here you are. Sorry. Can I help you are. with I'm anything else? Okay. Oh, oh, yes. Thank you so much, Juan. And also Janessi. That is correct. Yes. This one. Here you are. Can I help you with anything else? And then one. Very good. Sure, you tell me, right? That's what you tell me. Yes? That's what you tell me? Oh. No. Yes, can you suggest something for a toothache? 
Okay. To take. Ah, uh, yes, this one here. I'm sorry, my my bad, my bad. Yes, this one is correct, Juan. Very good. And yes, can I? And the number six. Oh, this number number six. Yes, can oh, you? Just... Are you re repeating the number five? <laughs> Oops, <laughs> that's what's because it's Mambo number five. So I got <laughs> with that one. I got to start with that one. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, we have number seven here. I apologize. Yes, number seven in here. Okay. Thank you so much. So thank you. We're going to have a few of you here. Uh, Mirna and Freddy. Okay. Mirna, you are, uh, let's say, number one. Freddy, you are number two. And then you continue with three, Mirna, and then with four, and so on and so on. Yes? Okay. Perfect. Let's begin. Okay. Hello. May I help you? Hi. Yes, please. What do you suggest for itchy skin? You should try this lotion. Okay. And um, could I have a bottle of pain medicine? How do you get... Here you are. Can I help you with, with anything else? Yes. Can you suggest something for a toothache? Sure, I can. You should see a dentist. 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 Okay, so <laughs> you see a dentist. Very good, Mirna. Very good, okay? You should see a dentist at the end, right? Straight to the point. No, no, no. You should see a dentist. <laughs> that was you said. Oh, that's very good, right? No pain medicine. Oh, go to the dentist <laughs> so you can remove your teeth. Oh, that's very good. Yes, very good. Perfect. Okay. Let's move to the next one. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Here we have this one. Containers, right? We have bottle, box, can, and tube. Okay, so what is the bottle? What is what is what is the uh, vocabulary that goes, or let's say the materials that goes in a bottle? Pain medicine. Okay, pain medicine. Mm -hmm. Eye drops. Eye drops. Mm -hmm. Eye drops. Eye drops, very good. What about with box? Oh, herbal tea. What is that? Bandages. Oh, bandages. Exactly. Right. Band bandages. Bandages, very good. What about with tooth? Insect spray. Muscle ointment. Muscle ointment. Muscle. For sharing cream. Yes. Oh, I did a mistake here. Sorry. Anti itch cream. Anti itch. And oh, yes. Cream. Exactly. Anti itch. And it's cream. A cream. Okay, yes. Very good. In a can, what can we have over there? Shaving cream. Shaving cream. Oh, shaving, right? It's expensive, I think. Believe me. Okay. <laughs> it's like seven and eight dollars. That would be. <laughs> and what else? Insect spray. Insect spray. Exactly, right? It's a bunch of mosquitoes. Oh, that one? Okay, spray. Sorry. Yeah. Very good. No mistakes here. Let me know. I don't think so, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. Let's move on to the next one. I'm going to delete this one, okay? Yes. Hey, teacher, what is the main can in this example? Oh, it's, it's like uh, uh, the material, which is a lata. Yes. Mm -hmm. Una lata. Okay, right. Thanks. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It's a container que viene en lata. Yeah. Okay. Thank Products. you. Thank you, teacher. Perfect. There are some products that comes in those things. Okay, like sardines. Do you love sardines? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a smelly, right? <laughs> if you if you use the microwave in at work with a sardine, I'm sorry for you. They will help you. <laughs> they will help you. They will hate you a lot. 
Okay. Pharmacies. Look at here. Conversation. Thank you. Can I help you? What is the answer with the customer? Tell me, please. Yes. Can I have a bottle of pain medicine? Oh, very good. What is the next one? Here you are. Then the customer. And what do you have for someone? Okay, what do you have? Very good. Very good. What about the next one? The pharmacist, what's the answer? I suggest this it's lotion. This lotion. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much. Beautiful. That was good. Okay, here we're going to have Anna. You are the pharmacist. Yes, Anna. And uh, um, Carlos, you are the customer. Ready? Carlos? Can I help you? Janessi, can you help us, please, with the customer? Thank you. Uh, no, sé. Oh, with the customer, sí, please. Ah. Yes. Yes. Um, you are the customer. Ah, lo tengo que reír. Lo tengo que leer, perdón. Oh, yes, please. Thank you. Ah, perdón. That's okay. Yes. Yes. Can I have a bottle of pain medicine? Here you are. Here you are. And what do, and what, what do you have for a sunburn? Anna, this one. Um, uh, I suggest this lotion. Thanks. Beautiful. I suggest. Very good. Thank you so much. Excellent. Let's move on to the next one. Teacher, I had oh. a question. Oh, go ahead. Hey, what is your uh, sunburn? I'm sorry, I was muted. A sun oh, give me a minute. Give me a minute. Sunburn is like this one, okay? Look at this one. Okay. Yes. Look at this one, right? Yes. Okay. So. Oh, boy. Oh. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. That's a somber. Do you understand? Como quemada de sol. Exactly. Very como. good. Exactly. Right. Exactly. That's why you need to use some screen. Some screen. Okay. So you don't. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. My pleasure. I'm good at drawing. Right. <laughs> That's not a Picasso. Okay. I'm sorry for this one. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, look at this one. Again, we have a pharmacist and we have a customer. Okay. What is the first expression? Hi, can I help you? What is the next one? Yes. yes. Could I have, Could something, I have for something for sore muscles? Muscles. Very good. Thank you. What is muscles. the pharmacist expression? <laughs> sure. Could I try? Sure. Try try this this so. Exactly. That's okay. No problem. Right. Beautiful. That's correct. What is the customer then? What is the next phrase for this one? Thanks. And what do you suggest for the flu? For the flu. Oh, that's good, right? With COVID. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. What's the next one? What's the next phrase? Try um, some of these um, tablets. Oh, oh yes, right. these tablets. I said I'm in a fan, right? That's what we got. They really work. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Those things, uh, they work. Okay. <laughs> thanks. Okay, thanks. I'll take them. And could I have a box of tissues? Could I have a box? Yes. Oh, very good. Yes. Okay, thanks. The second one. I'll take that. Very good. Perfect. Thank you so much. Here we're going to have like 
Uh, let me see. Blanca. Hello, Blanca. Hello. Thank you. You are the pharmacist and your partner is going to be Evers. Evers, you are the customer. Ready? Let's begin. Hi. Can you help you? Yes. Could I have something for some muscles? Sure. Three this ointment. Thanks. And what do you suggest for the flu? Three some of their tablets. They really work. Okay. Thanks. I'll take them. And could I have a box of tissues? Sure, here you are. Thank you so much, uh, both of you. Uh, just Blanca, we have a few mistakes like, can I help you? Try, try, okay. And I'll take them. People, thank you so much for being here. Enjoy your weekend. Be nice and be kind. And we will see you next class on Monday. Okay? Don't forget the exercises on the platform. Thank you so much for everything. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. See you later. Good night. Good night. Good night.